Here we go, guys. We are going to go and promote as well as review Royal Margarine uh, Cookie here. All right. Oh, wow. That the attack power is not that high. You see the difference between Pattaya's overall stat versus this one? We're going to go with the full Raspberry build first, but Ambush Cookie here. All right, middle. Uh, and here we go. The skill, Butter and Cream Blast. It is a 12 second cooldown. So one second, uh, you know, less than what Pattaya is. But Royal Margarine Cookie soars on Buttercream's back and fires Buttercream Blast at three enemies with the highest attack thrice. All right, three times, okay? Buttercream Blast deals damage, poisons, all right, the targets, and reduces their attack and defense. Oh, their attack and defense. And also amplify the debuff they gain. Oh, I think this is a little change from uh, what the patch note said. All right, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but... Next, Buttercream swoops uh, down towards the enemies, dealing damage and additional damage in proportion to the number of periodic damage effect the targets have applied. So, going to work, in my opinion, really, really well uh, with Prune Juice, alright? And it says, Buttercream Blast targets boss monsters first, and while Royal Margarine Cookie is using his skill, he will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects. Alright, so the Blast, alright, damage is 55.9%. Per hit, all right, that's going to be multiplied by three. And then Buttercream Blast Poison Damage is 23% to cookies and 40.2% to others every one second for 10 seconds. All right, Target's attack is going to be uh, decreased by 5% for cookies and 15% for others and stack up to three times. And defense is 7% per, uh, for cookies and 13.5% for others for 10 seconds, stacks up to three times. And Amplified Debuff is going to be 25%. And uh, Wyvern Swoop damage is going to be 269% plus 70% per each periodic damage effect on target. Stacks up to 350%. I feel like definitely it's going to be like the DOT yeah, damage over time or uh, really uh, like what Radius has already kind of tested. Really, really good for uh, the guild boss battle. But let's go into World Exploration. Let's go into the boss here. And uh, let's uh, see how the how he does. All right, here we go. All right, there's the poison damage. Let's go, buttercream. I want to see this now. All right, the damage itself is not. Uh, it's okay. It's not it's not crazy crazy all right but i feel like um what i would want to try out is um with prune juice and see how crazy uh damage this cookie will be able to do here we go oh yeah look look at the look how fast they kill it now dude Holy. Yes, uh, Alphagato does uh, do poison, but it's it's not the amount of poison. Right, you want to stack the poison. Alphagato doesn't stack poison. It only does it one time and it lasts for a long time. However, Prune Juice continues to stack and allows them amplify uh, poison damage as well as allows the amount of stacks to allow Royal Margin to do more damage. All right, so that's the reason why. All right, now let's try the Red Velvet Dragon. Happens. Always happens sometimes. There we go, that's so much faster. Oh yeah, he casts his spell so much faster. Oh man. There we go. Wow, he couldn't cast his spell even one more time here. Yeah, there we go. He dodges the meteor now. Yes, there we go. There we go. 
Sherbet and Eclair cannot be replaced in this team. Yeah. And Prune Juice. Okay. Well, there you go. There's way more damage uh, than before. Uh, and Prune Juice just doing so much damage. And I, I bet, I bet, like, other guilds, like, if they optimize this, it will be, like, more than 400 million, for sure. All right, Margarine with Prune Juice. All right, here we go. They have a Madeline and a Stardust. Uh, Moonlight. Prune gets hit by that. All right, but we have the we have the feather for that. So hopefully. Okay, there's the poison again. Their enemy uh, Moonlight did die early right there. All right. Come on, Moonlight. Okay. Okay, the poison damage. Not bad, not bad. Okay. They're still alive. That's that's a good thing right there. Okay. Didn't even need to pop the feather. Moonlight and, uh, of course, our prune doing the most damage, but not too much uh, or not too bad on the margarine. And also, he, he is five-star promotion against, like, uh, ascended cookies too on the enemy team. All right. This one is against the capsaicin one. All right. They're definitely going to do more damage here. So let's see how this turns out. So let's see if our pure vanilla will be able to stay, uh, keep our cookies alive here. All right, Moonlight, come on, Prune, use one more time, just kill one more time, come on, Prune. There we go. All right, all right, there we go. Prune did die, but come back with the feather. Oh, but that capsaicin damage, holy, oh. Oh god. Yeah, against something like this though, they just do so much damage. Here we go, here we go. Let's see how this turns out. Alright, Margarine. Prune, Latte. I will not falter! Alright. Latte's gonna die. Use again. Silencing the enemies. Alright. Come on, Latte, one more time. Yes, Latte, use skill one more time. Wow, oh, the damage is there, though. Ooh, oh, okay, we might actually have a poison comp here, guys. The Latte one actually might work. Because Latte doing the double silence is actually really strong. Not bad, not bad. That was with the Capsaicin, too, yeah? Yeah, Capsaicin, a little bit low, low on their uh, promotion there, but still. Um, it shows the poison damage is it's possible. All right, here we go, guys. And here comes the silence again. All right, Latte's gonna die, but gonna pop the silence one more time here, preventing their skill from being used one more time. And just they're just stuck there. Latte, use skill one more time. Okay, they, they are definitely a little bit tankier this time around. Alright, let's see how, how this turns out though. One minute mark now. Oh, Prune. Oh, Prune died. Oh, yo. Uh, still, okay, they definitely... Uh, I don't know. It seems like it's working and then it doesn't work. More testing definitely needs re uh, is required for that. I mean, but the thing is, I feel like Margarine... There might be a comp that comes out with him, but he definitely is more geared towards the guild boss battle for sure, as of right now. Uh, we'll just have to test that more, but uh, like I said, just feel like it's going to be geared towards more like the guild boss battle uh, aspect of things right now with Margarine. So we'll have to see uh, how the meta changes after, but yeah, for right now, my conclusion for the first review is... Uh, that margarine is going to be more towards the uh, guild boss battle and uh, PvP, more testing is required.